Granada Hills Charter High School is not allowing unvaccinated students to walk at this year's graduation ceremony. The school says most of the students are vaccinated, but there is a small percentage that are not. CBS 2's Rachel Kim spoke to one student who will not be walking and is devastated. I felt abandoned by the school I worked so hard for. I, I, I just, I, it's just heartbreaking. After working hard and getting through remote learning during the height of the pandemic, 18-year-old Andrew Luna thought he'd be able to enjoy the rest of his senior year back at Granada Hills Charter High School. But he says after winter break, he was notified that he wouldn't be allowed to come back if he wasn't vaccinated against COVID. So he and other unvaccinated students were put into the school's online independent study program. That meant no more club and yearbook team activities. Besides that, there was just the the events on school campus, um, relationships with uh, with friends, and um, just uh, a lot I had to give up, essentially. Because of the school's vaccination policy, Andrew has not only missed out on the last semester of his senior year on campus, he was unable to attend prom, senior awards night, and now graduation on June 2nd. They made every effort to like. Um, to forget us essentially right before graduation he's being told that he can't graduate on stage. It's not right. Tom Luna believes his son and others who choose not to get vaccinated are being punished by the school. Andrew is willing to, to be tested. There's no reason that he can't get tested and then going to school just to graduate. We reached out to Granada Hills Charter High School for comment on the matter. They sent us a statement saying in part, our community asked for and has overwhelmingly supported our student vaccine policy as demonstrated by our 99% vaccination rate amongst those who are eligible to be vaccinated. Andrew says even though it's too late for him to graduate with the rest of his class this year, he will continue speaking out. Us seniors, we might be shot, but like um, the next gen the next grade, Next grade after that, like they'll get to be on campus and um, that's what we're fighting for. We're the future essentially. Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.